Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's budget results video. So for today, we're gonna be closing out the month of March. So we have coffee, <laughs> we have a calculator, the iPad is pretty charged, so we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I am going to start with is just tracking any remaining transactions we have right here. So, or actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna actually start with bills. Yeah, let's go ahead and start with bills and get that out of the way real quick, because that's pretty simple. So all of our fixed expenses were exactly as we had planned them to be. There were not any discrepancies or anything like that. All of the bills have also been paid. I double checked today. Everything's good to go. So let's go ahead and track our variable bills. So first we have the gym and the gym membership ended up being $55.98. So it was exactly two cents under. Oh. <laughs> It's so funny. I literally just texted Andrew and I was like, just so you know, I'm on Do Not Disturb because I'm filming. If you really need me, call me twice and it'll let you through. And what do you know? <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. He's out grocery shopping right now and there's specific things I needed from Trader Joe's. So he just wanted to make sure he was getting the right things and all of that. Okay, so yeah, $55.98 is what was spent on the gym membership. So two cents under. So 55.98 and I'm going to use green to mark that that was two cents under. And then we have Southwest Gas, which that was actually zero. So I don't know exactly what's going on. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay, sorry guys. Okay, so <clears throat> Southwest Gas, I don't know exactly what's going on, but we've had like a credit with them lately. And so we haven't had a bill. So that tells me that we like overpaid in the last year and they're playing catch up, but our bill is like negative 70 plus dollars, which tells me like that's a credit balance that we have. So kind of interesting, but I mean, I'll take it. We called them d just to like double check. I was like, is this actually accurate? And they're like, yep, it's fine. Just once, you know, your credit's gone, then you'll start seeing a bill again. So there we go. Water and trash. Let's see. Water and trash was 90.03. 90.03. And you guys might hear... Um, there's like a ton of landscaping going on outside so you guys might hear not at our house just like um, out front and so you guys might hear that so 9003 for water and trash and that means that we were 997 under budget I love seeing under budgets because I know we're over budget in a couple categories so then we have APS which is our electric bill and that was 316.52. So we'll swipe back over here. 316.52. We budgeted 317, so that's 48 cents under budget. And then we have T Mobile. So T Mobile was a different amount this month. It was 142.67 and we budgeted 150. So 142.67 and that means that we are under by $7.33. Then we get into all of the variable expenses like grocery, household, all of that. So we will go into that here. And yeah, so I'm just double checking real quick. I feel like I'm missing something for some reason. I don't know why I'm feeling that way, but 
I feel like I'm missing something. Um, I guess maybe not. Eh, we'll see. <laughs> Towards the end of this video, we'll see if I'm missing anything. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put what we had spent so far. So we budgeted $800, we had negative $1788 um, as of last week. So that means that we currently have spent $81788 because um, yeah, we budgeted $800. So $81788 and then we did go grocery shopping just to get a little bit of stuff. Trust me when I say we literally just picked up a little bit of stuff, like essentials, bananas, milk, bread, stuff like that, and it was over $50. Andrew forgot milk, so he had to go back. It's crazy how expensive things have gotten, but we tried to keep it as minimal as we possibly could have because we knew we were already over budget. But So we're going to add $5.32 and then $49.16. And that means we spent a total of $872.36 on groceries. So I'm gonna go over to this little section here and then do $872.36. And that means that we are over by $72.36. So that is grocery. I feel like we're doing better for grocery this month so far we did do like a bigger Costco haul which you guys will see that on Thursday but I feel like overall we're doing pretty good so far okay so then we have household now let's see for household I believe we we're um, over as well yeah so we budgeted 200 we were over $21.14 so that's how much we had spent before we last checked in I know we had to get um, diaper liners for Julia's diaper pail so that was something that like we couldn't wait on or anything like that. So that was $35.96. And that means that we've spent a total of $257.10 on household items. So $257.10. And that means that we are over by $57.10. And then for eating out, we budgeted $240. And as of last week, we still had, or no, we were over. We were over by $10. Is that right? Oh no, that's gas. I need to do these in the same order that I do that on my budget because I get really confused. <laughs> um, okay, so that's gas. So actually it's $240. And then we still had $68. So we're going to do minus. 68 67 so last time we checked in we had spent a total of 171 33 and then this week we did some eating out so let's see we went to culver's and that was 24 93 so we'll mark that off and then we picked up snacks for the girls while we were out running errands from the gas station. So that was $6.71. We just put that in eating out. And I believe that was it. So that is a total of two oh two ninety seven. Is that right? Yeah, two oh two. Two oh two. That is what I feel like I'm missing. I feel like we ate out. Let me double check real quick. Um, <laughs> Andrew sent, sent you that a while ago. There is no services in this entire area. Yeah. Where our Trader Joe's is, there's like no service. Okay. So I need to log out of my business every dollar and then I'm going to sign in to, cause I feel like I forgot a transaction cause I feel like we had more eating out, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. This is why I want to really work on tracking transactions every single day because if I do it every single day, it's literally just a couple minutes of my time and it's much less confusing versus like if I track them all for the week in one day, it takes forever and it's really confusing. So let me go back to May or to March, I mean. 
Okay, so eating out Chevron Culver's. Oh, see, okay, so black, I, how did I forget all of these? Okay, so I'm pretty sure I didn't have those before. Let's see, the last one I had was 4.93 Okay, so we have Black Rock. I did have more eating out. So let's go ahead and I'll make sure images is on and we'll put in these transactions real quick. So on the 25th, we went to the bakery. And that was, let's see, um, bakery, and that was $35.53. And then we went to Black Rock Coffee the next day, and We spent a total of $23.50. And we got McDonald's. Did I track? Okay. I thought I, I could have sworn I tracked McDonald's. I remember tracking it. But I guess not. Okay, so. McDonald's, maybe I accidentally erased it or something, who knows. McDonald's, and that was $21.87. And then we also had Starbucks, see, oh my goodness. <laughs> we also had Starbucks. Lots of coffee drinking. And that was $8.21, Starbucks. 821. I think Andrew had gone out to get, um, we love their medicine ball teas. I don't know if you've ever tried them before, but they are delicious. I actually want to look up a way to make them like at home. Okay. And then we got the bakery. So that's everything. Whew. Okay. That is why I felt like that nagging feeling that I had forgotten something because I definitely did. So I'm glad that I looked. So 821 for Starbucks. So I'll add that. And then McDonald's for $21.87. Cause I was like, I could have sworn we were like over on eating out, but yeah. Okay, so $35.53 for the bakery. And then we did Black Rock. We actually did a lot of housework this weekend with some family, and so we just like treated them to like lunch and coffees and things like that. So there was a lot more eating out than normal. Yeah, see, oh my gosh, we're actually over by, or are we over by a lot? Oh uh, yeah, we're over by quite a bit. Okay, so we actually spent 292.08, and that means that we're over by 52.08. So we budget 60 per week, and we had 240. Let me just real quick double check, make sure I actually tracked that all correctly. So, okay, so let's see. We budgeted 240. As of last week, we had 68, 67 remaining. So that means that we spent 171.33. And then I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna add the Starbucks for 821. I'm gonna add the McDonald's for 2187, 35.53 for the bakery. 23.50 for BlackRock, and then Culver's for 24.93, and then Chevron for 6.71. So 2.9208. So that is in fact correct. Okay, whew, we're good to go there. Gas, we did not fill up at all the rest of the week, which is good. We were $10.46 um, over budget, 1046 over budget, and then we had budgeted 120. So we spent a total of 130, 46, and over by 1046. 
Maddie's commission money, we just took out the 20 from the bank, so that was good. Sinking funds, 2750. That was good. And then unbudgeted, I feel like we did have just the one, so 262. And wasn't that for Cara's vet bill? Let me double check real quick. Yeah, that was all for Cara towards the beginning of the month, our little girl puppy. So 262.75 is what we were over budget. 262.75. And that puts us over by 262.75. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the actual and then we'll do the um, overs and unders and make sure we're you know in good standing there. I won't be sharing our total income. I won't be sharing what we put towards our goals because obviously if you do some simple math, then you can figure out what our income is. So just a little FYI, I don't share my income. I just don't feel comfortable sharing my business income. So, um, but hopefully you're still able to get a lot out of this video, not knowing those numbers. I feel like you should be able to. So I'm gonna go through and add these up. So 55.98 plus 90.03 plus 316, 52, I really need to get my nails done. I can't stand when my nails are long like this. It makes like everything more difficult, even pushing buttons on a calculator. I just, I can't do it. So I need to go get these suckers taken off. I might actually like give my nails a break for a little bit because the last time I went to get them done, I noticed that my nail itself seemed really thin. So I think I'm just gonna like maybe get some clear gel like polish on top and call it good. So 872.36, oops, see? Yes, I need to go to the nail salon like ASAP. 257. I love the no chip, but like my nails just grow fast and um, yeah, like I said, I feel like they just need a break. 292.08 and then 130.46 and 20 and 27.50 and 262.75. So that means our total fixed expenses were 5,100, or variable expenses, $89.95. And then just to double check our math and everything, I'm going to add all of the overs and then subtract the under. So 262.75 for unbudgeted plus 10.46 plus 52.08. Plus 57, 10, and then 72, 36. Then I'll subtract 733, 48 cents, 997, 65, and 2 cents. So that means that we're over by 371.95. So if I take this number here and subtract this, it should equal that. So let's make sure that we did all of our math correctly. 5,189.95, yep. So that is all correct. So that is good to go. And then we get into sinking funds. We need to close out all of our sinking funds. So I feel like overall, as far as how the month went, um, being over by 371, I'm pretty okay with, honestly, um, especially considering we had that big, you know, vet bill, which we had to take Kara in. There's not anything we could have done about that. You know, gotta take care of our puppies. So I feel like I'm gonna give us maybe like two and a half stars for, um, for, let's see, I'm gonna make this, well, and yeah, it's too thick. Um, yeah, I feel like two and a half stars is pretty fair. Okay. So I'm just gonna go in with my highlighter. I usually don't like really take a ton of time on this, but I have to say it is kind of therapeutic <laughs> highlighting. So I'm gonna do that. 
And then I can actually take my precision eraser because now that's a thing, which is really nice. And I can just kind of get the edges here. And then we will just, um, the precision eraser is like kind of a new thing with good notes, but they had it before they just brought it back. So I'm gonna uncheck images and then copy that star and I will pull it over here and we'll just put it on there like that and do this. And then I'm gonna take my precision eraser and just kind of go down the middle. <laughs> and we'll erase half of the stars. So two and a half stars, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how the month went overall. So that is that all set to go. And now let's figure out sinking funds. This is kind of honestly the part that I somewhat dread <laughs> a little bit, but we're gonna get through it. We'll do it, we'll take care of it. So the first thing I'm gonna track is Andrew's pocket money. We've got two sheets of transactions here and I think Andrew actually only had one transaction. So I'm gonna take my highlighter and I'm just gonna highlight in yellow. And so he, he just spent 200 investing in crypto. And I'm just double checking real quick. That seems to be it. So he spent 200. which means that his ending balance is zero. Okay, and then we have birthdays and gifts up next. So 3013, we had um, purchased like lunches and stuff for our landscapers at the beginning of the month when they were working on our backyard. So um, 3013, and then we also did pizza for 1090. 90. So we have that. And then 36, 31. And I think that may have been it. Yes. So we spent a total of 77, 34. We started out with 273.88. We added 300 and then we spent 77.34. So we have 4.96.54 remaining in birthdays and gifts. I'm gonna kind of move that over a smidgen. Okay. So birthdays and gifts, and then we have house maintenance. So 101. 98 for our dog door and 1723 that was for the hose nozzle nothing else on that page oh 112 94 And then we bought some flowers because we're gonna pot, or not pot, we're gonna plant some potted flowers. And then we got some hooks to put up our lights above our picnic table. My new favorite spot in the whole house. And I believe that was it. So house maintenance, we spent a total of, and let's see where his house maintenance down here, of two, two ninety-five oh four. So we started with three ten sixty-eight. We added a hundred, and then we spent two ninety-five oh four. So we have one. 1564 remaining in house maintenance. Okay, 
Moving right along, then we have my pocket money. So that was $25 for a tip for my massage therapist. And then I did the book of the month for $21.68. Again, sorry if you guys can hear all that in the background. And then I got the Romanticy book from Once Upon a Book Club, which I still have to start reading. I'm currently reading I'm currently reading The Roughest Draft, which I'm just a couple chapters in. I haven't been able to get to that or get through that very quickly at all. But um, I'm enjoying it so far. So 9701. And then another book of the month for 1626. I actually skipped um, the April books because just none of them really appealed to me at all. So I skipped that. So I think that is it for my pocket money. So I spent a total of $159.95. I started out with, let's see, 200 minus 1849, and then minus 159.95. So I currently have $21.56 in my pocket money. Subscriptions, we had our Amazon Prime membership come out, so that was $129.12. And I want to say that was it for subscriptions. Yes, so 129.12. And, oops. And we started out with 120. We added 20. And then 129.12. So 1088 is what we have remaining in subscriptions. Okay, so then we have beauty. So I have my dip manicure for $50. And then we have my lash fill for 80. Um, I went to get nails done with Maddie. That was 152. And then I got some makeup, and that was $13. And then $23.95 for Maddie's haircut. Okay, then we have Andrew's haircut. He recently went to the barber, and that was $38. So quite a lot for beauty. I was scheduled to get my hair done, but my hair lady, um, she got sick. So we actually have to reschedule. I still need to reschedule with her, but I really desperately need to get it done. So I'll probably reach out to her soon just to see how she's doing and see if we can reschedule. But that takes care of beauty. So a total of 356, let's see, oops. I must have put that under, oh yeah, I did. I put that under the wrong thing. Okay, we need to move that down. And that means that that number is wrong. <laughs> Goodness gracious, okay. So let's see, I need to figure that out. So let me actually put in, I'm gonna put in what we spent for beauty. So 356, 95 is what we spent. Okay, and then for birthdays and gifts, 186.30 is what we started with, and then we added 150, and then we spent 77.34. So 258, 258.96 is what we have there. So how many of you noticed that and were like, Stephanie, no. <laughs> We're under the wrong line. Okay, so then 273.88 is what we started with in beauty. We added 300 and then we spent 356.95. So we have 216.93 remaining in beauty. 
Okay, so that takes care of that. Then we have puppies. So for the puppies, we spent $5.96 on a food dish. And then we spent $43 and 38 cents on antlers. 43.38. And then $54 on food. We stocked up on food quite a bit for them. And we got them some bones. I actually, we got them some shin bones, which was a suggestion from one of you, and I'm so sorry, I don't remember exactly who it was, but um, they love them. They love the shin bones, so that worked out really well. 110.66, we got them collars and toys and some grooming products and things like that recently. And I know I mentioned to tell me to not get any more toys for them, and this is the transaction that led <laughs> to that, because I was like, listen, I we got them way too much stuff, but it's hard to not spoil them and of course we had the girls with us and they each wanted to pick them out something and all that kind of stuff so it was like a big thing but okay so puppies we spent two um right here 248 65 so we're actually definitely un, um over budget on puppies so 150 minus 248 65 we're over by $98 and 65 cents okay so that takes care of puppies then we have entertainment so we got tickets for the daddy daughter date night at our church and that was $45 and then Andrew took the girls to an indoor playground and that was $33 then he also took them to the zoo. This was during Maddie's spring break. $51.96 for the tickets and then $51.76 for like lunch and all that. And that was it for entertainment. So $181.72. $181.72. Oops. 181.72. So we started out with 103.90. We added 150. And then we spent 181.72. So we have $72.18 remaining in entertainment. And, oops. I must have, oh, I, I think I pushed the undo button one too many times, so. Then we have clothing for Andrew. And he got some shoes. He was able to actually go recently and get some stuff from his favorite store. He loves going to a store called Express. So $43.39, and then I think that was it for him. Yeah, so 43 39 So he started out with negative 69 cents and then we added 50 and then he spent 43.39 so that gave him $5.92 remaining. 5.92. Okay. And for the girls, we spent $40 on some dresses for them. And then I got them some swimsuits. We actually put their swimsuits in their Easter baskets. So that was kind of part of Easter, but I took it out of clothes because they have so much in their clothing fund right now. So but that's always part of their Easter baskets. We always do um, like swimsuits and flip flops and like summer gear and stuff like that in there. And I believe that was it. So yeah. So we spent a total 
for the girls of 134 66 and so they have 46497 so they have a lot in their clothing and then we added 100 and then we spent 134 66 so they have 430 31 remaining in their clothes okay and then we have medical so $15 for a copay just wait till you guys see all of the medical expenses for April so far it's insane $45 for some vitamins we could have taken that out of household but we just decided to take it out of medical and then $500 for my down payment for my ortho so I'm gonna get some um, clear aligners just to fix my bite and then I've got a couple like um, some crowding issues in the front of my mouth so I actually had braces before but I never wore my retainer so shame on me <laughs> but um, it should be a really quick easy fix and everything so um, but I put down $500 for a down payment so that means 560 for medical 560 Okay, so 433.32 is what we had. Then we added 250. And then we spent 560. So we have 123.32 remaining in medical. And then we have holidays, which was the Easter baskets for the girls. And then we got like a whole bunch of eggs for our neighborhood egg hunt. That is this upcoming Sunday. It's going to be really fun. So it was one in 1460 and that's coming out of holidays. So holidays is kind of like a catch all for all holidays outside of Christmas. Uh, so we started with 291. 85 in holidays and then we added 50 and we took out 114 60 so we have 2 27 25 remaining um, okay and the last thing we have it looks like is miscellaneous we got some coffee from Nespresso instead of taking it out of grocery we took it out of miscellaneous because we were over on grocery already so $49.50 for miscellaneous $49.50 we started with $44.09 we added a hundred and we spent forty nine fifty. So ninety four fifty nine. All right, and then everything else is zero. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to make that a little nicer looking. That's not a square. Good notes, but thanks for thanks for. Uh, that okay I'm just gonna do a normal one I, I can turn the fill color off okay <laughs> come on okay I'm gonna turn the fill color off real quick my goodness um, that's not a square good notes what are you doing do my circles really look that much like squares I don't think so but I'm just gonna do that okay and then what we can do just to save some time is we can copy and paste this all the way down. So it's the beauty of digital planning. You don't have to rewrite things a ton of times. You just copy and paste using this lovely lasso tool. So it makes it really quick and easy. And then for anything that has um, zero, we'll figure out the balances and stuff. And then I can transfer over the um, the balances to my April budget because now we'll know what our beginning balances were sinking fund for sinking funds were for that. So for car insurance, that means we started with 400 and we now have 480, 
for car insurance for car repair replace we started with one of um, 1,302 dollars we added 150 so we have 1,452 dollars and sorry for the zooming in and zooming out I did get a comment about that making someone sick so I really hope that's not happening now but like I have to zoom in to be able to write like I can't write when I'm I, I guess I could try let's try let's see what happens so 225 plus 25 so we have 250. I doubt I'm gonna be able to do this and make it look like, I guess that looks kind of nice. Yeah, okay, that works, whatever. Hopefully you guys can still see that though is my thing too. Um, okay, and then 306.92 plus 150 for Christmas. So yeah, I have to zoom in you guys. Um, I just have to. 456.92. For Christmas, then clothing at 233.35, and we added 50 for mine, so that's 283.35. And family pictures, we have 250. We started with 225. We added 25. And I think we're actually going to hire a professional photographer um, in October. We're going to North Carolina for my father-in-law's 60th birthday. And I think we're going to try to go to like an apple orchard while we're out there with the kids and get some like family pictures and stuff taken. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, and then for school, we started with 231.07. We added 100, so that's 331.07. And 412.37 plus 100 for summer activities means we have 512.37. Did I get that right? And then vacation, which is now completely drained, but at the end of the March it was not. <laughs> um, we started with $1,754.82. We added $250. So we ended with $2,004.82. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add up all of these deductions and then all of these ending balances. We'll double check our math and that will be it. So let me go through and add up all of the deductions. So we have $200 plus $356.95, $77.34, This is always the scary part, $134.66. 181, 72, 114, 60, 95, and 129.12. So according to that, we have spent $2,550.92 out of our sinking funds. Then we have our ending balances. So we have two sixteen ninety three, two fifty eight ninety six, four eighty, one thousand four hundred fifty two, and then two fifty. 456, 123, 32, 94, 59, and then we'll subtract the negative balance of 98.65. I didn't have any other negative balances, did I? No. Um, and then 331.07, 2156, 10.50. 
10, 88, 5, 12, 37, 2004, 82. Okay, so I am like saying a prayer that this is gonna work out. <laughs> 7,499 dollars and 42 cents. So we are going to take 7,334. We added 2,750. We took out 2,550.92. Moment of truth. Is that? Yay! Thank you. <laughs> Oh man, it's always just like, I don't know why, it's just, uh, if it's off even by a penny, I feel like I have to figure out like what the issue was. So it's always nice when it all evens out and the math is correct and everything. And now I have all of my ending balances so I can transfer all of those over to our sinking funds for April and we will be good to go. So that, you guys, is pretty much it as far as our budget for March is concerned and our March budget results. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to catch all of my future videos. Let me know in the comments down below, how did March go for you? I feel like overall it went pretty well for us. April is turning out to be pretty okay, minus some expenses that you guys will see on Thursday when I do our first weekly check-in. But I will say that for the April budget, I am really enjoying using the spending tracker and I've been tracking transactions on a daily basis and it has made a huge, huge difference, a huge difference. So I've been really good about that. I'm gonna try to keep that up for the rest of April and everything. I think I mentioned that earlier, when you wait, like a whole week and you're tracking a week's worth of transactions all at once, it's easy to forget something or overlook something. It gets confusing. It takes a really long time. So anyways, again, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one on Thursday. Bye.